look at the transistor. I have two graphs. On the left is IDVG. What does it mean? I plot the drain current as a function of the gate voltage, right? Imagine you're doing the experiment. Okay, I put a transistor there. I put an emitter to the drain. I apply the gate voltage. Uh, definitely, in that case, I will need to apply. This is VG, right? This is S. And I'm going to apply uh, maybe an emitter. And then, of course, I need to have a VD, right? So I can fix the VD and then change the VG. For example, here, VD equal to 0 0.1. Here, maybe. Uh, for example, when I fix VD equal to 0 0.1, and then I start increasing the VG, right? When this 0 0.1 VG was small, then it is off, right? No current. And eventually, it's larger than threshold voltage. It goes up, and then it will keep increasing. Correct? Right? So the equation uh, we are doing, uh, let's just assume it is in saturation already, because we bias it in saturation, is I equal to W on L, mu C ox divided by 2, V, Gs minus Vt squared. This is the equation we are talking about, right? So now I keep increasing the Vg. Before Vg uh, is smaller than Vth, yeah, we don't use this equation, it's cut off, and then eventually it goes up. Okay? Now, uh, we did not draw this well. This one should be more curved. But what is the meaning of the small signal? I already told you. We need to bias it at a certain VG. For, for example, this can be one volt. Okay? When this is one volt, this might have a current of one milliampere. That is the biasing point. For example, you solve for R0 and R2, you, 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 you pick a value, pick two values, and then this becomes one volt. Right? Or like the simulation I just showed you, at one volt. Now this transistor is at one volt. And it has a certain VD. Okay? And then it has one ampere going down. Like the simulation I showed you, right? Then what happened? I'm going to apply a small signal to it. It means this one is going to oscillate maybe between The P to peak, let's say P to peak, let's say that is uh, 20 millivolt. Okay, it oscillates. Okay, now when it reaches the low value, isn't that the output current is going to change? Maybe to 0. 0.5. Nine, nine minute ampere. Okay. And when it oscillates to the high value, the current will then change to 1.01 1 .01 minute ampere. Make sense? Is this scenario okay with you? Right? I just increase the total voltage a little bit, the total current will increase a little bit, reduce a little bit, or reduce a little bit, right? But what we care is not the total value. What I care about is something called GM. It's the delta I divided by delta V. So what is the delta V in this case? How much did I change from peak to peak? Just read from here, how much did I change? 20 millivolt, all right? And when I change 20 millivolts, what is the peak to peak change of the current? 20 microampere. If you do the math, it is one minute semen. That is the meaning of transconductance that we're talking about. 
If I bias it differently at different bias, you see the slope is going to be different. The transconductance will be different, right? So that's why you do the DC bias. And then you find out what is the GM of this transistor. Meaning that I give a one unit change of the gate voltage. How much drain, drain current will change? It's conductance because it's current divided by voltage. But it's transconductance because it's the current of the drain divided by the voltage at the gate. Like the transfer resistor, right? We're talking about two terminals. Okay, so this is a simple concept, but it needs to be very clear to you. I hope you have this picture. The curve can be curved, can be highly nonlinear. The concept is still the same. When we make the input so small, you can always linearize it because no matter how steep it is, I mean how curved it is, you look at a very tiny region, it's just like a straight line, right? Due to Taylor expansion. Remember Taylor expansion? When it is small enough, all the high order term can be gone. Everything is linear. And that is what we are doing in this class. Okay. Similarly, how do we, we can also plot this curve. I, oh my God. 